Hey greatness. So what is God and did God create evil? If we think about it, when we look at God or the universe or the cosmos or the high self or the most high, we see it as omniscient, omnipresent and omnipotent. Meaning it's in all things, it's everywhere, and you can't escape God. And we look at, in science, we got this thing called energy. And everything is energy. It's omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. And so, if it's everywhere and it's in all things, did God create evil? There's the question. So I was watching a video with Eckhart Tolle and he titled it the same thing, Did God Create Evil? And for me personally, my own perspective on it is that us as human beings, I think that we have just been disconnected from what we call energy or God or the Most High or the universe. We've become so disconnected from truth that we have created what we like to call lack or competition or I need to get this amount of food before someone gets it, you know, and if we look at the coronavirus recently, everyone was buying toilet paper, right? <laughs> everyone was rushing, you know, I need to get this first. This is the ego in play. This is evil in play when we serve up to lack, when we follow lack, when we follow what's going wrong. And so what we have forgotten is, is the all providing nature. There's an all providing substance, which is God, which is truth. And we have been so focused on science and the external and what's happening in our reality that we have become disconnected from ourselves. We've become di disconnected from people and we are one big organism. If you, if you look at your body, if you, if you look at all of the cells in your body, there are trillions of cells which make up who you are right now. And this organism or these cells are working together as one big organism. You are exactly the same thing. You're a, a cell in this big human race, this big human race thing. And it's my belief that there are cells within the body that are parasites and they're, you know, germs and all these things, all right? And your white blood cells go and fight them and, you know, transmute them, right? Well, in our reality, that's what we call a light worker. A white blood cell is a light worker, okay? It's a worker of the light. And so it gets rid of the bad stuff so that you can survive and live longer. And so in my head, it's like, okay, there are some minds, there are some brains that are in dis-ease, right? Or bad cells. And that's because reality has taught them certain things. Reality has conditioned them in a certain way. And so they're providing an outlook in life which is out of alignment with truth with God and that's why I always say in my videos that we need to connect back with source and when it comes to manifesting we need to connect back with the source and basically kind of move away from ego-based manifestations and Eka Tolle actually has, has got a program that he's releasing and I think it's out I'm not sure it's called conscious manifestation and I've been speaking about this for years that you want to live in your heart space and not in your head space, that you want to operate from the heart and presence, presence and knowing that you are a part of this all providing nature is where the power is at. It's not in following what the secret says, because the secret, whilst it's very, very powerful movie and it woke a lot of people up, we 
start to chase material. We we are looking at what we can get in order to feel good. Conscious manifest manifestation is realizing that hey, I'm great. You know, I'm I'm amazing the way I am, and being in that state of abundance and knowing that you are the all-providing nature, you are the omnipotence, you are the omnipresence, you are the omniscient. When you realize that you are a part of that, you are an extension of that which is energy or God. Why do you need if anything? Right? You don't need it. You don't want it. You don't desire it because you realize you are a part of it. And when you realize that you are the abundance, you feel empowered, right? You feel like in resonance with those things that you want automatically. And you're not worrying about toilet paper, <laughs> right? You're not trying to, you know, grab everything when there's a little bit of scarcity in the world. And we have to realize that this thing did god create evil i don't think it's god creating evil i think it's human beings using their brain in totally the wrong way using their body in totally the wrong way okay we've just become disconnected and we are functioning mainly from what we call ego ego is pretty much over logical okay it's pretty much thinking way too logical and a lot of it is stemming from lack if we look at wars and civil rights going on right now and we look at um politics and all of this stuff human beings kind of think they're godlike and what i mean by that is they feel like they can control the world okay so when we got the megalomaniacs when we got the narcissists and all of these people that are in power they think that that um they can control the world and so the information that's seeping down through the top is that of you know i need to buy this thing i need to do that i need to go work a nine to five i need to have kids by a certain time i need to get married this is all information trickling from the top is it coming from the most high no it's coming from ego so everything that people have been taught up until now majority a majority of it is out of whack if it doesn't stem from source if it doesn't stem from this all providing nature this all providing god right what we call god why should we listen to it why should why should we listen to the news why why should we listen to the politicians why should we listen to all of these people when they're not connected with love and source and god right and so we're living in reverse and we want to switch that around and live from love that's obviously easier said than done but it's for us as light workers and light warriors and star seeds to do that now because we want to start the process maybe it's not going to happen in this lifetime but maybe in future lifetimes this is a generational thing and you want to think in terms of karma you want to think in terms of what you're leaving the legacy and the power that you're energetically imprinting as you begin to contribute in raising your own vibration and changing the vibration of the planet so what I'm going to do for you in this video is work around your heart. I'm going to do an energy, energy healing here around your heart and just releasing some of the energies around your heart. And all you need to do to participate in this energy healing is to say my name three times. Just say Gavin, 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 right? Say my name three times out loud and then you'll be connected to my energy and I'll be able to do these releases for you. All right. Now, the intention of this is to release the energy blocks around the heart so you can become a conscious manifester, so that you are consciously manifesting from your heart and so that you can open your heart even more and operate on gratitude, on love, and um, being in tune with the universe, okay? So I'm going to start the healing right now. So make sure you've said my name three times, and here we go. 
All right, so I'm just going to do a generalized healing on the heart. Okay, so releasing all energies. Connected energies, related energies, similar energies, all energies known and unknown, all energies seen by higher power. Releasing these energies for all time, dimension, and space in all directions. Releasing all sabotage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, two, one. Release, release, 100% release and peace. Okay, so throughout this process, you might start yawning. There might be some tears coming out of your eye. You might start coughing. Um, you might feel energy shifting in your body. Okay, this is your sim the symptoms um, of a blocked heart coming out. Okay, you're purging, purging it out. Okay, so I'm just going to release some more, releasing all energies, connected energies, related energies, similar energies, all energies known and unknown, all energies seen by higher power, releasing these energies for all time, dimension, and space in all directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. So releasing all sabotage, releasing all the way back to inception. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, release, release, 100% release and peace. So um, I'm being called to release around disconnecting from the ego. So disconnecting from the mind and coming more into the heart space. Release all energies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move fear and ego, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, release, release, 100% release and peace. <sighs> okay. And There's a fear of being in the heart space, like a fear of being attacked or um, being different or something like this. There's some sort of like being afraid. It's a new energy outside your comfort zone or, you know, there's a little bit of uncertainty of how it's going to be and how things are going to work. So uh, just surrender this energy, surrender these thoughts and belief systems and ideas, releasing all energies, all connected energies, related energies, similar energies, all energies known and unknown, all energies seen by higher power, releasing these energies full time dimension and space in all directions. And then releasing all sabotage, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, release, releasing all the way back to its inception, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release, release, 100% release, and peace. Okay, so hopefully you're feeling some release here. I'm just going to do a generalized healing on the crown chakra here because I'm being called to do so. So clearing any energies around the crown chakra. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, release. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, release, release, 100% release, and peace. Release all energies. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, release. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, release, 100% release and peace. And we're done. All right, so hopefully you're feeling more of a high vibration. You're feeling better, you're feeling lighter. Comment below what you feel and what you've experienced through this energy healing. And let me know what you've learned from this video. Um, I believe that we are here to become more pure. I believe that we're here to um, re remind people of who we truly are. Um, as I begin to work on myself more and more and I deprogram and I uncondition myself from the things that I've learned, um, you know, the more connected I feel with, with earth, with the planet, with God. And, um, you know, I just feel completely safe. So I don't worry about anything. Um, and um you know i still get afraid sometimes or like you know whatever that's just my you know my brain that you know it, we have a, a part of our brain called the amygdala and you know sometimes you know um i'll hear someone shouting and i'll go like you know i'll be afraid but like i'm talking about like things like coronavirus and like you know all these things happening in the world it doesn't phase me it doesn't phase my heart it doesn't it penetrate and that's how powerful reprogramming your subconscious mind can be. That's how powerful um, things can be for you. And so I want to invite you to do my seven day reality transformation challenge, which moves on from this video that we're making right now. And it helps you become more present, more connected with yourself and God 
and it helps you create your reality from you know a place of uh, of consciousness it helps you manifest from a place of consciousness and from the heart space rather than from the head space and you'll see dramatic changes in your life just within seven days it's completely free uh, there'll be a link in the description where you can go and get that or check the top of the comments and uh, if you want a free subconscious mind diagnosis session as well um, you can just click on my face right here and remember to keep learning keep growing keep expanding and i'll see you in the next video peace